Have you seen the price of beef lately? It's insane. This is how a busy mom can feed her family of four with a juicy steak while staying on a budget. $20 for a pound of New York steaks? This is getting so outrageous. But you know what? My family can still eat like kings. I'm just not gonna feed them New York steaks or ribeyes. Instead, I'm reaching for those less expensive cuts of meat like London broil, top round, bottom round, and they are half the price. And sure, they might be leaner and a lot tougher, but we're gonna solve that using my secret weapon, which is the Instant Pot. Now let me show you how to make a juicy, budget-friendly steak in your Instant Pot. We start with prepping our steaks. I picked up two pounds of London broil. It was $7 a pound, still outrageous for London broil, but at least I'm not paying $40 to feed my family steak. I'm gonna sprinkle it with some arrowroot powder after I've seasoned it with salt and pepper. This just helps form a little crust on the outside of the steak, and it's also gonna help to thicken our sauce as well. You don't have to add this though, this is optional. First set your Instant Pot to saute mode, and then add some avocado oil to the liner of the Instant Pot. Once the oil's hot, we're gonna add in our steaks and sear them on both sides. And you may have to work in batches depending on the size of the steaks and the size of your Instant Pot. While my steaks are cooking, I'm gonna cut up a yellow onion and dice it up into chunks. You're gonna need around a half a cup of yellow onion. Now it's time to remove the steaks and add in my diced onion, three ounces of sliced mushrooms, two cloves of minced garlic, and a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. We're gonna stir this and let it cook until softened. Next, we're gonna pour in our liquids. I'm gonna add one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes and then some chicken broth. And the chicken broth that I'm using today is actually chicken bone broth, and it's from Kettle and Fire, who I partnered with for today's video. Bone broth is an excellent source of collagen, protein, other key vitamins, and nutrients. Kettle and Fire is the only bone broth company that uses 100% grass-fed and grass-finished beef bones and 100% pasture-raised chicken bones. They slowly simmer their bones over 20 hours along with organic spices, vegetables, and apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar is the key to extracting all of those delicious nutrients from the bones. And I love that they don't add any additives or preservatives to their bone broth. You can order on their website, kettleandfire.com, and search based on your dietary needs, personal taste, and health goals. Like if you're looking for something to help with weight loss or digestion, choose what suits you best. And then when you check out, use code KETOFOCUS and you can get 20% off of your order. After pouring in my cup of chicken bone broth, I'm also going to add a quarter cup of red wine. This is optional, but I love the flavor that the red wine gives to the sauce. Then we return our steaks to the Instant Pot and submerge them in the liquid. Put our lid on and we're gonna pressure cook this at 30 minutes. After it cooks, we're gonna let the pressure release naturally for 10 minutes before pressing the valve to release the rest of the pressure. And here's our steak, it smells like heaven. While I'm gonna slice the steak, I'm going to simmer my sauce down a little bit. So again, hitting saute mode, I'm gonna reduce the sauce just so it thickens up. If you need help thickening, you can add an additional half a teaspoon or teaspoon of arrowroot powder. That will help to thicken the sauce even more. Serve with mashed cauliflower or rice. This steak is fork tender and budget friendly. Just like these other recipes here, like my pulled pork sandwich, all of these are budget friendly recipes. Just click there to watch. And again, thanks to Kettle and Fire for sponsoring today's video. Remember, head to their website and get 20% off your order with my code KETOFOCUS.